Welcome back everybody, we've been on this roof a couple of minutes ago, a couple of seconds ago, but honestly it was a couple of days ago, so yeah, I changed my hoodie and it's time for us to get from the sky back to the ground and yeah, let's keep on walking. So, our last day of the trip in Moscow will be uh, ended up at the place we started it, uh, at the Cathedral of uh, Christ the Savior, stay with us, stay on the go, go to Russia. Okay, so in a few meters from the shop we've been in a couple of minutes ago, you know, this I've been just telling you about. It's the most expensive street in Russia. It's called uh, Nikolsky Boulevard. No, it's Tretyakovsky Proyest. Yeah, sorry, my bad, my bad, man. But there's a sign. Why is it the most expensive? Because it's in the center and it's very short. And technically, it's the most expensive street in Russia. But if you, uh, we're talking about the average price of the rent or buying of square meter. So this street is very small, everything here is very expensive and average price is just huge because all the other expensive streets is taken away a little bit far from the center so the price goes down, same with the average price. But this one is like the most expensive toys in Moscow street and everything here you see, everything is love here. This is, uh, this is Nikolska Street, one of the most popular uh, streets for tourists because you can walk here, no traffic, everything beautiful, a lot of buildings and everything. So we've been here uh, on the World Cup, everybody was celebrating here, it was like a massive, huge celebration. <laughs> Right here, there is like around the world, Vakok Sveta restaurant. It's just, you know, a good, a good place if you don't know what to take, because you can find like 50 different menus in there. Everything is very good. Nikolskaya street, Vakok Sveta, around the world. Nice restaurant, nice place, nice street. When you find yourself around the Red Square, don't forget to, you know, take a few steps around because there are many streets with old buildings such as this one. I think it's a guest house, old guest house. It was a guest court, to be honest. You know, there is restaurants and things and things. And Russian Fashion Week was in this place, yeah. And there is a park right in front. It's called Zaryadie, over there, uh, just nearby the church. And it was built by Americans mostly. And a lot of people was very upset about it, like, how can you allow foreigners to build something just nearby the Kremlin? Maybe there is a spice, but no. This is the entrance to uh, the Radio Park, but the interesting thing here, if you can see those pipes over there, then there is four pipes, like a tall one, and four pipes in, you know, a little bit shorter. So the legend is, but it's not a legend, it's true. So there is a river, you'll see it. <laughs> and during the one of the, like, conflicts, one of the battleships stepped in into the Moscow River to have some, you know, repairments and uh, to be saved and protected. It was surrounded by the like camouflage, and so so from the planes or whatever. I don't know. It would be looking like a building. And in the future, it hasn't been like re-established and didn't back uh, to the uh, like military, you know, events. So the ship is still in there and it became a factory. So it looks like a building, but it is a ship inside. So yeah. You, you can Google for it, and if you'll tell me the name of the ship, I'll send you 10 bucks as a price. I think it's good because, you know, like, yeah, $10 in cash.
and the park is Zariadi is quite beautiful and interesting because it represented all the different uh, type of plants uh, from the north of Russia, from Siberia, Karelia, even from Kamchatka, and of course the central and you know like the European part of Moscow of Russia. So yes, take a step into the Riadia because it's it's in the center. It's very modern and beautiful park. So we'll do it a little bit for you, you know, to like just to show you a little bit like a demo. Because uh, if we will show you everything, there there won't be no necessary for you to go, and that is not too good because we exactly is trying to get you do you see how many tourists here in the red square and more coming so should you arrive here as well so now we're living the red square and we're going to the bridge to balchi kempinski hotel it's not like something special but for me it is because i've met there dj tiesto Dolph Lundgren, Marilyn Manson, Deptones, and ATB band. So, and I have a good time with them because I was a journalist, English-speaking journalist. So, all the, those celebrities was living in Balchuk and Deptones, Manson, and Dolph Lundgren with my, you know, my heroes when I was a kid. And even now, I'm listening to the Deptones. I have like speakers in my in my backpack. And Moscow, isn't that beautiful? A Kremlin, a pipes, and and a cathedral. So that's our last stop, and as you remember, we've started from this place. So we made a little, 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 little circle, about 12 kilometers, and about to finish it. And um, this is Balchuk. This is well, this one. Yeah. So I have a brother, nice guy, but every time when I tell, saying him something like, "Oh, take a look, it's so beautiful," and he's saying, "It's just a buildings." Come on, man. So it's everything the same, like a building in a window, and there is a blue and it's yellow. And why, why you're so excited about this? Like, what the hell, man? Like, ah, ah, ah. so it also depends on you if you don't feel yourself emotionally blown up if you see something beautiful. Then you need to learn yourself to enjoy in this moment. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, short story. So there's basically a sculpture with two kids playing, a boy and a girl, and they playing, playing the ball. But the world of grown-ups around them is trying to get them into something bad, like, you'll see. So just a few de details for you. This one is for prostitution. And if you take a look behind, then you'll see that her belt is based, in fact, is just a snake who was like, you know, get yourself together. And on the back of her, there is like a toad with poison, which is make you uh, addicted. And it, the frog with the poison is like started to burn down the, the back of a lady. That uh, is one of the reasons why she get addicted to the drugs and become a prostitution because all the things are connected. And my second detail I wanted to show you is yeah right here you can see the face over there and just from here you can understand that the face which is shown to the people is in fact just a mask and the real person is behind this mask and the truth is why is it like indifference because he's not care also he just turned around close his eyes and close his ears so and just point the mask which is like shown that he's involved in something but in fact the person is right here and it's not even like looking at us so there's a sculpture kids playing and you should take a look what is around them and as my opinion this one here is teaching us to be a better person and not to you know passing by the problems that can be faced with with all the people uh, who is just a little bit you know younger maybe so there is war poverty child labor uh, sadism propaganda violence uh, ignorance thieves prostitution drug addiction uh, alcoholism it never thinks all this is like very scary and dangerous it's demons that's around us and we got to do everything to protect those kids from those demons and it's ours our responsibility too so please you know
So, hello, our trip is about to end and yeah, it's better. So, we came back at the place we've been starting from. Uh, the Perzova or Maslova, I don't remember who that house, but it's beautiful, and the cathedral. So, our journey was about 12 kilometers, and if you like it on the video, please repeat it uh, in, in live mode with your own feet, you know, and uh, see you around. Thank you for supporting, because everybody who watched this video definitely subscribe our channel. Yeah, you've su su subscribed already. It's I'm freezing, my mouth is freezing. It's very hard to talk to me now. Uh, okay, uh, please subscribe our channel, press the heart button, like the like one. And if you have something to ask or to given us an advice just you know under the video there is commentaries and yeah uh, just use those for that and and see you soon okay bye